Hello and greetings from God the Father and the Son, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. Circuit Rider here on behalf of the Red Letter Riders of the Not Ashamed Biker Ministry. And we're so glad to have you here with us today for our midweek mini message. We're going to talk about what it means to deny yourself and pick up your cross today. But first, if you have any prayer requests that you would like to have lifted up, please, please feel free to click the link under the video so that the body of Christ can pray on your behalf. Also, use the comments section below to let us know who you are and, and where you are, if you so feel so moved. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you have any questions about today's message, you can, again, ask those in the comments section, or you can hit me up on my email, which is linked below the, the message as well. Now, Luke 9, 23 tells us, Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. That doesn't sound like such a big deal, does it? I mean, after all, the, the cross means forgiveness and love and grace. It's a, it's, it's a nice, positive thought. It's, it's, it's thoughts of comfortable things. You see, we wear a cross around our neck as jewelry. We use them for wall decorations. We wear it on our T-shirts. And you can even see a cross on a bumper sticker. So what's the big deal? Well, I'm glad you asked. The big deal is this. 2,000 years ago, the cross was not pretty. It was an instrument of death. You see, criminals were required to carry their cross, their own instrument of death, to a hill where they would be hung on it to die. It was the most excruciating way to die that you can ever think of. In fact, the word excruciate comes from the root word crucify. The cross is not meant to be a pretty piece of jewelry, you see, and it's not meant to be a nice wall hanging, but it, but it was a sign of ridicule, torture, pain, suffering, and death. Today, many of us think that to carry our, our crosses to bear some type of burden in our lives, having to deal with unpleasant situations that, that spring up from time to time. For instance, you might say, well, my boss is a jerk, but that's just a cross I have to bear. Or my relationship with my mom is not the greatest, and, and that's a cross that I have to bear. You see, we accept these unpleasant situations as a cross that we have to bear. That's not what it is. You see, bearing one's cross has nothing to do with all the burdens in your life. It has nothing to do with strained relationships, problems at work or with, within your family, or, or even physical illness. As we just stated earlier, to bear a cross was not a pleasant event, to say the least. Carrying your cross to your own execution was difficult and painful. It was downright horrendous. So when Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me, he meant that if you did indeed decide to follow Jesus, that you would do whatever it takes to do just that, even to the point of being willing to die for him. You see, it's not an easy road. He wants you to deny yourself, to, have a, to live a sacrificial life. Now, to deny yourself means to confirm Jesus. Denying yourself is different from self-denial. Self-denial means that you give up something or some activity for a specific period of time. For instance, I'll deny, deny myself chocolate for two weeks. And then don't we live out our denial during Lent for 40 days? It's the same thing. But denying yourself means saying no to the things that take you away from Jesus and the truth of the gospel. You deny yourself of what you desire for yourself, but instead do what God desires you to do. You give up yourself once to pick up God's will for your life. Galatians 2 and 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in with me. And Galatians 5 and 24 says, Those who belong to Christ Jesus has crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. To do this, it requires absolute surrender to him and requires sacrifice. However, there is a tremendous reward in this. Luke 9, 24 says, For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever who loses his life for my sake will save it. Amen? Jesus continues in verse 25. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? You see, the things of this world are very temporary. But the salvation you freely receive from God as a result of picking up your own cross and following Christ, man, that's for eternity. Amen? You see, following Jesus is easy when things go smoothly, but when we're faced with trials in our life, it becomes much more difficult. Being a follower of Christ has demands. You need to count the cost of those demands. 
It is a cost of sacrifice. You have to concern yourself with the interest of the Almighty and pick up your cross and crucify your own interests on it. You have to be all in for Jesus and be willing to suffer for following him. You may lose friends, even be alienated by family members. You could lose your job or even your career by being a follower of Christ. An example of this is that teacher from Loudoun County, Virginia, where he refused to acknowledge students by whom they identify with, but by their God-given born gender. You see, he is, a convic he is convicted in his Christian beliefs to do so, and he may lose his job over it. In fact, the case has been assigned to the Supreme Court. He gives us a today example of what it means to pick up your cross, deny yourself, and follow Jesus. Jesus also gives us an example from the Bible of what it means to count the cost in Luke 9, 57 through 62. As they were going along the road, someone said, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me finish. Go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Leave the dead to bury their own. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And yet another one said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. And Jesus said, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. You see, these people wanted to follow Jesus, yet when Jesus told them the requirements, they wanted to put contingencies on them. It doesn't work that way. Either follow him or you don't. You're either all in or you're not. Are you willing to truly follow Jesus? Are you willing to go all in for him? If you say yes, have you counted the cost? Are you willing to lose your closest friends, alienate, alienate your family, lose your reputation, lose your job, perhaps even lose your life? Yes. Are you willing to lose your life? You know, in 2020, Christians were martyred for their faith every day. That is almost 3,000 people who sacrificed their life for Jesus and the gospel. And that is just the ones that were reported now, all of these things may not happen to you, but are you willing? Are you willing to face those issues, to pick up your cross and follow Jesus? You see, it comes down to this. Choosing between Jesus and your eternal life and your eternal salvation or what the world offers you. Which will you choose? Which do you prefer? the things and pleasures of this temporary world or an eternal life with God. Luke 14 and 27 warns, whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me can't be my disciple. Being a disciple puts Jesus at the center of your life. And when we make Jesus the center of our lives, you want what he wants. You desire what he desires. You can't live a life centered around you and live a life following Jesus both. It is about conforming to the image of Jesus and making him in the center of your life. Won't you deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow Jesus? Amen. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, there's so much in this world that tempts us and looks desiring to us. But, Lord, we know we can't follow you in the world both. And for that reason, Lord, we ask that, that you help us pick our cross up and, and deny ourselves so that we can follow you and, and, and trust in you and obey you and, and tell others about you. Lord, we want to be your followers. We want to pick up our cross daily, even though it means we may lose our life over it. Yes, picking up our cross and following you is difficult, Lord. But we know the war, reward that we will reap, and that is eternal life with you. 
We pray this in the name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.